What is good, everybody? We have game number one between Isang and Dark. This is the pit, and this is uh the the losers bracket. I guess battling out for the the redemption finals between Dark and Isang in this CIS League land finals. So, Dark on the Roost versus Isang on the HRE and right off the bat this makes me scared for Isan. This is a matchup almost any matchup right now with Roos is somewhat Roos favored, but this is one where even more profound on a map like the pit especially. You get these hunting cabins were quite close. Um so I'm not sure how much gold they're giving. Um that being said, very very profound on the pit as a ton of gold able to be gathered from hunting cabins a ton of bounty out on the map which makes it really hard for hre to be able to kind of counter this act you're already seeing this happen now dark only has a single scout out oh no he doesn't he has a second here i was about to say very very odd opening with only single scout but we're just seeing this a uh, little bit of some micro Attempt by Isam was able to steal out one of those deers. But I always mention when this is happening, usually Roos is the, in the advantage because they might have a third scout or even, um, yeah, more importantly, they're bringing their second on over. But this time, Isam invested in a second scout himself. So he's still able to pick up sheep, still able to counteract some bounty. Meanwhile, Dark forced to bring his second scout over just to secure this deer pack. And oh my gosh, is his scout low health. able to secure that up now he's headed on over to the opposite side of the map there's a couple more deer that he dodged on out how bad no one really goes there um it's not bad it's just no one really goes there a couple more sheep able to be picked up but really the key for the roost is the bounty it is all about the bounty in this early game it lets you snowball lets you really skyrocket on up Hunting cabins, not as good as I would have expected. We got 25 and 24. Usually you see these at about 30 um, or so. So that's just where I would expect a little bit more here, but might be because he hasn't yet gotten that next bounty upgrade to just give him that next little jump up. He's going ahead, dropping in that Kremlin, protecting his gold and wood line as well it's still that range is pretty big so it can drop a lumber camp still going to get that bonus wood income and able to secure up some more bounty on the other side so we'll give it another minute or so and then we'll we'll let some people guess in the chat and see how close someone can get if someone guesses the bounty on point i will open a uh, a collector's pack So, there's three more deer, and I think that's about it as far as the bounty goes on the map, other than maybe one or two wolves. Um, yeah, there's another wolf, and obviously boars, but boars won't be until later. So, that being said, we're now pretty much solidified. Feudal Age has already been dropped, and go ahead and play the best game that everyone loves, which is Guess the Boonty. I'm going to be guessing 225. Um, no, I'm not. I'm going to be guessing 275. <laughs> so HRE Chapel goes down. It's right next to that wood line. It's, I mean, this is a lovely chapel. It gets the food, gets the stone, gets the gold and the wood line. I mean, what a prime time spawn for Isan. Only one guess for Guess the Bounty? I'm shocked. No one else wanting to throw in their potential uh, shots out here. There we go. 260. Dark going in for the secondary TC. You can tell how heavily he is investing. Just grabbing the stone ahead of time and uh, all on the stragglers here at home. 
Oh, as we say this, there's two more wolves picked up, so this changes my guess from 275 to... Uh, I'll go 310. Even though that math doesn't add up, we're doing it. <laughs> Villagers grab enough stone, and we are checking in on that bounty since no one else is seeming to be guessing, and Dark is at... It was so much less than I thought. He's at 225. Shoo! The C-H in I Sanch is pronounced like ch in church. So I Sanch, Sanich, or is it San? So scout circles around, just starting to be annoying on that hunting cabin. Not really going to do anything as of now, but if Dark doesn't react to that, that hunting cabin could get burnt down as they aren't too tanky, but doesn't even worry about it. Has the first night headed on out and I Sand going ahead and dropping that secondary TC on gold and sir securing himself up some deer as well which as the hre that's all you really care about food and gold the secondary tc it's not finished yet for dark yet so uh a little bit of a slight advantage there goes to i sanch and drops a few more sheep off at home and this is kind of when the game's going to start developing we're going to start to see some aggression come out with the roost knights i am shocked we did not see any militia get called at any point in time so far he's got those tickets could have really delayed the second town center or just hit the wood line or whatever it may have been but just protecting holding the tickets letting them stack up for the time being Knight still hasn't been able to find damage, but this is the point where it's going to circle around. It's going to go for that wood line very far off from that town center. No spears out as of now, and that knight has arrived. Villagers are actually headed towards there. Perfect timing, though, because it allows him to react. See the knight coming, and villagers actually go for the circle. Shivs come out. And one vill does end up falling from Isanj. First spear on the way out. So now Dark does have to fall back a little bit from that location. Uh, uh, please don't finish this. Please don't finish this, Dark. Please don't finish this. We all do it. We all do it. Y'all don't say a word. We all do it. He wanted this. He wanted the straggler. Eight vills moving out on over to the boar. You're really able to do this against the HRE because the HRE isn't known for moving out on the map until they hit castle. That's when they move out. That's when they want to try to start securing up those relics and boar and scout secured at the same damn time by dark. So great job by dark he hasn't been able to you know do anything too crazy so far in this game but has a vill pick that he was, he was able to secure denying vision now from the hre and securing extra food income for himself if you look at the resources up at the top very very similar resources which is odd playing against the hre they're usually the one that's castle a good bit ahead of time Ooh. Vill has been spotted that was attempting to do some walling. I think a boar was accidentally pulled, or maybe it was pulled as a, as a backstop, but wall will not be able to be completed. Actually, no, he's just pulling it back. He's going to secure this boar. He wants more bounty for himself? No, nope, just backed away. And the Regnitz is on its way with 12 Vills, but one of the things that we see up at the top is the Abbey. It's already been on its way with 15 Vills. And 
unless Isanch really gets some prelates out and on these relics fast, these warrior monks and knights will be able to be moving out with the map control that Dark already has. Four relics all towards the top side. The Abbey about to finish here in a second. I'm assuming we're immediately going to see some warrior monks in queue to deny the relics over from the HRE side. And there it is. First warrior monk in queue going for this one dead center mid middle of the map. But we see spears and spears are exactly what's needed to escort the prelate to be able to secure the relics for himself as the warrior monks and knights. They both will get taken down by those spears and first relic secured by Ice Anch. Second relic about to be secured. One of the things that Roos typically do with HRE going two TCs is walling in the far side, the contested side relics, but none of that was done by Dark. Instead, he just thought he could maybe outmatch it and out time it himself but instead, two relics have already gone over to the way of Isan. As I say that though, the knight, he spots out the prelate. It was in the middle of nowhere. Going for the wall low. Gets taken down. Next prelate gets spotted out. There is a warrior monk that the spears spot, but not able to take it down yet another early night on its way out that is correct early night still no night upgrade as of now however those are hardened spearmen not veteran spearmen yet nope as i said that the veteran upgrade finishes the warrior monk it comes in it sneaks on through to grab this relic out at least for right now no he could have gotten it out further I think he could have gotten that out way further than he did, but the next warrior monk was already there, able to pick it up, and now Dark slides that relic out from the other side. <gasps> and the next prelate, he couldn't get it in. Throw it, just throw it, get it in, and he wasn't able to do so. Militia have been called. This is huge now. Dark, not only can he help deny these relics, this can actually get some extra eco damage. Knights might be able to dive through the next side, hit where I Sanch is vulnerable, which is on the food right now. Those early knights, though, still no upgrade through from Dark yet. Oh, he's just got more knights in queue, but no upgrades. He's fighting with feudal age units for no reason. The relic finally has been secured for Isanch, but behind this, Dark has himself one. Second one secured for Isanch. Two relics out on the map, both towards that western side. Oh no. The Kremlin, the militia, they strike gold. They find those food villagers I was talking about. They stop the ones on the outpost and they take down Five villagers over there. Eight total vill kills for Dark now. Snags out the relic right before the prelate gets there as well. And transitioning into crossbows. What a great, great swap. Great choice here by Dark. Knowing that HRE are all about their heavily armored units. Prelate just barely able to escape with his life. Knight actually going to be able to circle down and probably close the gap thereof. We are now to a 3-2 to two relic differential, so it could be worse for I Sanch. He still at least got two, so happy about that. And Dark was definitely able to secure up the relics a little bit better than what it had seemed for a second. A few of those knights are moving forward. The crossbow number, it's up to seven though, or six now after one gets taken out. So those knights will easily be able to start getting taken out. They have to be very careful. They can't just dive those fights. But that's exactly what he chose, chooses to do. Goes back onto that crossbow mass and throws away the spear, throws away the knight. So great job by Dark picking up another vill, circling around with his knights and just continuing the pressure, being on this front foot constantly. Don't let Isanch break out of his base. Don't let Isanch get comfortable and secure being the HRE is starting to throw away a few of these knights, but just as he's throwing away knights, Isanch was doing the same, but at least Dark is getting villagers. At least Dark is getting 
pressure with this and oh warrior monk stays alive at two health and picks up a prelate and as we mentioned another villager goes down it is 11 to 0 on the vill kills more of these crossbows stepping up into the middle Another set of crossbows moving forward to that western side, but there's still an outpost there just ready and waiting. It's going to start sniping down the crossbows, but Dark has the full map control right now. He has all of what he wants to be doing, and Isanch is the one struggling right now. Farm transition has started to come into play around that chapel, but still not fully online yet. In the meantime, Dark taking all of these pocket food locations. <gasps> crossbows trading with the knights just exactly as they should be and oh, no it just needed another few feet another few feet and it would have been devastation crossbows slowly kiting back there's a prelate there healing it on up i think the crossbows are going to be able to clear up the rest of these units and now the prelate after that and then dark has slowly been able to just eke out this military lead he's up to 15 crossbows i sanch five four units now overall as far as his military goes and has been lacking in the eco with how much damage he has taken dark really just slowing this showing us this slow and methodical gameplay but just doing everything correct not overstepping taking good correct nice trades able to pick up two more knights for nothing meanwhile i Sanch continued on this back foot he's walled himself in dark's got his win condition already starting to tick down boyar's fortitudes on its way making those knights even better than they already are and then the crossbow that's going to be his main damage his main counteracting point More of those knights circling around on that pocket food location. Crossbows stepping on forward into the main heart of the eco. Isanch hasn't yet reacted yet. Doesn't quite have the reaction or the military mass to be able to deal with this yet. If the crossbows want, they can just take out almost all of these villagers on the food. Horsemen, knights are circling back around. There's still a knight on the front line here for Dark, and he's been taking, around vi taking out villagers during this fight as well. Knights on the backside. Crossbows starting to fall back. Couple more knights arrive to be their front line unit. Not only a couple more knights, warrior monks to be able to get them the saints blessing upgrade once they attack and i don't see a way for isanch to be able to hold this right now heart of his eco is about to get absolutely shredded absolutely decimated knights are in the heart crossbows are in the heart of the eco and all of these villagers about to start falling yes you may have textiles but textiles doesn't matter when there's this much damage Crossbow's kind of just focusing on everything for right now, but I Sanch, he finally realizes not going to be able to do anything, not going to be able to hold this. There's too many units flooding in, and he cannot produce enough. Game number one goes over to 3D Dark.